Hello everyone, my name is Akhil and in this video we'll see how Shopify's multi-location feature works with Zoho Inventory. Before we jump into action, let me give you a quick overview on what Zoho Inventory is all about and how you can integrate your Shopify account with Zoho Inventory. So, Zoho Inventory is a cloud-based inventory and order management solution using which you can manage your inventory across multiple locations and your orders across multiple sales channels. Now, let us see how you can integrate your Shopify store with Zoho Inventory. For that, log in into your Zoho Inventory account and navigate to the Integrations tab. From the screen that appears, click on Shopping Cart and click on the Setup Now option under Shopify. From there, enter your store name and click on Connect. After a brief evaluation of your credentials, the Shopify store will be successfully connected to your Zoho Inventory organization. Once connected, you will be taken to the configuration page where you can modify the integration settings like the sync time for orders, items, enabling the stock push from Zoho Inventory to Shopify and so on. So let me give you a quick overview on how the integration actually works. So when you integrate your Shopify store with Zoho Inventory, we will bring the items from Shopify store into Zoho Inventory. And if the items is already present in the Zoho Inventory organization, we will map them together based on the item name. From there on, the stock information from Zoho Inventory will be pushed to your Shopify store. Once the item sync is done, any new order that would be placed in your Shopify store will again be fetched into Zoho Inventory along with its contact. And from there on, you can create invoices and package within Zoho Inventory and the shipment details will then again be pushed back to your Shopify store. To know more on this, please click on the pop-up icon on the top of the video. Now, let us see how you can map the locations in Zoho Inventory. Here are two scenarios on how you can map Shopify locations with Zoho Inventory. However, before doing this, please ensure that you enable the multi-warehouse option in Zoho Inventory. To do that, click on settings and choose the warehouse option. So this is the case one, if you have connected Shopify with Zoho Inventory very recently. In this case, navigate to the Shopify details page by clicking on integrations, shopping cart and show details option under Shopify. From the screen that appears, scroll down and you can enable the locations feature in Zoho Inventory. So as you can see, I have created multiple locations in Shopify here and these locations will be visible in the uh, Zoho Inventory as well. So here you can choose uh, the warehouses that you would like to map and hit save. Now let us see case 2. If you have been using the Zoho Inventory and Shopify integration for a long time, if this is the case, navigate to the Shopify's detail page by clicking here and as you can see, you would need to re-authenticate the integration. For that, what you would need to do is basically to disable and re-authenticate your Shopify integration. To do this, click on the disable integration and then navigate to the enable integration part and click on the re-authenticate option. So after a brief revaluation, this would be again, uh, the Shopify store will be connected as you can see here and click on enable integration. Once this is done, you can enable the Shopify locations, click on enable and map the locations in Shopify with the warehouses in Zoho inventory accordingly and hit save. After mapping the warehouses, if you click on settings and warehouse option, you can see that the warehouses in Zoho inventory would have a Shopify tag and clicking on that tag will let you know that which Shopify location is mapped with the warehouse in Zoho inventory. Now let us see how the synchronization of items and orders work once you have enabled the location feature. Now let's take a look at the item synchronization part first. As you can see here, I have created multiple products in Shopify and for each item, for example, let's say take white 64 GB, I have associated multiple location with them. I have also provided the opening stock for these items. So once you have enabled the Shopify integration in Zoho Inventory, these items will get synced into Zoho Inventory as well. 
and as you can see, the opening stock of the items gets updated in Zoho Inventory as well. The stock update will happen based on the warehouse mapping that we have done during the initial setup. For example, if I edit and change the opening stock for these items, the same would be updated in Shopify as well. So let me change it here and hit save. Now, if we take a look at our Shopify store and check out that item, you can see that the stock of the item for that particular location has been updated as well. Similarly, if there is any stock update that is happening in Zoho inventory, it, get, it would get pushed into Shopify store automatically. So that was about the item synchronization. Let's take a look at the order synchronization part and how it works. So, once the sales order is synchronized to Zoho Inventory, two things can happen. If an open sales order is synced to Zoho Inventory, we would map the order to the primary warehouse in Zoho Inventory. If you would like to change the location, you can click on the change location option and change the warehouse. As you can see here, I have multiple sales order created in Shopify. Let's take this one for example. I've created the sales order in the open status and it is mapped to the Indian warehouse. So once it gets synced into Zoho inventory, you can see that this particular order is mapped to the primary warehouse in Zoho inventory, which is California. As mentioned earlier, you can again choose the change warehouse location to change the location of the order as well. Now, if a fulfilled order is synced to Zoho inventory, we would map the order to the corresponding warehouse in Zoho inventory. As you can see here, this order has been fulfilled in Shopify and it has been mapped to the India warehouse. Now, if I go back and check in Zoho inventory for this particular warehouse, you will see that it has correctly been mapped to the correct location in Zoho inventory. So that was about the order synchronization part. Let us take a look at how the shipment update actually works in this integration. As I mentioned earlier, for an open sales order, the primary warehouse will be selected as the default warehouse. And as mentioned, you can use the change warehouse option to change the location of the warehouse. Now, in case you have fulfilled the order with the primary warehouse, the location mapped to that particular warehouse will get updated in Shopify as well. So here you can see that I have gone ahead and created a package and shipped it. Now, if you take a look at the same sales order in Shopify, the corresponding location mapped to that warehouse has been updated in Shopify. In the case, if you have changed the warehouse before creating the shipment, the corresponding sales order will show that it has been fulfilled from that location in Shopify. Please note that you would have to choose the warehouse which has been mapped with the location in Shopify. Otherwise, the shipment update will not be sent for that location. For example, I have an order here with two locations selected. One of which is mapped to a location in Shopify and the other one is not. Now, if you go ahead and create a shipment for this particular sales order, the status of the order will be updated as partially fulfilled in Shopify. That is, the fulfillment update will only happen for the location that is mapped with Zoho inventory. So that's all about Shopify locations. If you want to know more about Zoho inventory, please click on the pop-up icon on top of the video. Thank you and have a great day. And please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload. Once again, thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.